Die Herigwala Districts Municipaliteit is een landelijke gebied waar meer dan 65% van die bevolking in armoede leeft. Die district heeft van die meest vruchtbare grond in die land. En oor de kades heen het verskye commerciële boere hulle self hier kom vestig. Herigwala Agri is een organisatie sonder winstbejaag wat wil toezien hoe die succesvolle boere opkomende boere kan bijstaan, zodat hulle ook kan floreren. Jade van die Kerkse pa het jare gelede die familie plaas aan die staat verkoop en gevra dat een jarenlange werker van hom, Cecilia Kokela, die grond moet kry. Dit is echter nie aan haar oor gedra nie en sy sê dit is haar grootste uitdaging. Dit is ook waarom sy vir Van die Kerk gevra het om hand by te sit. O, Mr. Van die Kerk, sê 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 Van die kerk sê, hy het aanvankelijk gedink die regering sal vir Mokela ondersteun, maar daarvan het dadels gekom. I think we've waited for government too long and they've done nothing. So I think it's time that we, we do what we can do. And I think we always sit back and wait while well, they'll sort it out, they'll make a plan, they'll do something. And they've proved that they're incapable of doing that. And, and it is time that we do it. It is time that we stand up and, and we take it on. Um, and it's sad to think that at times government is actually against the, you know, this whole moving forward. And, and we've got to just say that we'll, we'll make it happen. You know, whether you, you, you're with us or you're not, we'll, we'll make it work. Eh? Okela heet a belangrike boodskap vir die regering. Inden ga tanda nje uguicho, kogo kuba abantu baga government, ma bawa shoni pe ama fa ma mangling, bawa nigeze i support, baza uti i i i abantu abawa niga ma fa abase bens, kanti ngabo abanga ba nigi support, enda uno ba 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 nigi support, ba ya ba abuse, ba ya ba shugumeza. Die Herigwala Agri-organisatie het ook verskye projekte wat opleiding aan jong opkomende boere bied. Die Saivelboer Mark Half help landbouwstudenten om praktische ervaring op te doen soos tertiaire instellingsvereis. Terwijl die studenten ervaring krijgen, wordt hulle ook een salaris betaal. A lot of these students, um, particularly when we started, have in the, in the universities or other the colleges have they've got an interest in agriculture, but they don't have any practical um, sessions or training. They've got um, very little um, practical knowledge that they could walk into a job and actually do the very basics. So here we really concentrate on, particularly when we started with future farmers, they were actually school leaver kids that weren't going on to college. That we are, So we're a dairy farm, so we take people on and make sure that a guy can do the very basics. You can walk into a dairy, you know how to switch the dairy on, you know how to operate it, you know how to put a cluster on a cow, how to take a cluster off, how to treat a cow, how to treat a calf, how to wash the machines, how to drive tractors, operate sprayers, everything that's practically needed. So that's how we started. And now it's changed more to making sure that students who are uh, training in agriculture also have the practical know-how, one, to actually get their degree or diploma signed off. Second, if they're going to apply for a job when they walk onto that farm or wherever they're going, that they feel empowered to be able to do, because it's quite intimidating. I mean, all of us who've started in agriculture, you can be as well-trained as you like, and the first couple of months, most of the time, you're walking around trying to figure out where's the tap and where's the irrigation and, 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 and the very you know, stuff that makes you feel confident that you can that you can do the job. Half say work that is belangrijk om plaaslike talent te ontgin. But I think just like we've seen maybe in in sport we've been talking about quota players for years and then suddenly the whole dynamic changed and I haven't heard someone talk about a quota player for ages there's just this pool of amazing talent out there and if you just get involved and try and give people opportunity to maybe come and express themselves, you're going to find some, some great talent in, in, in agriculture. So, you know, hopefully, yeah, the more students we can get through, get through farms and, and um, yeah, we'll um, find great talent for, for running farms and managing farms and owning farms and 
um, they'll find opportunities. Twee van die studenten, Zandile en Zimande, en Mzilikanzi Kumalo, zei daar is niet plek voor politiek en landbouw nie. I guess we better not involve politics in farming. If it was for me, I wouldn't involve it because it can create a violence. Yeah, because we'd be like, these guys are abusing us. At the same time, they forget that one person can feed a lot of families. And this farm, like Rockfontein farm, there are a lot of families, families that are being fed. So, I don't like politics at all. I know the, the politician wants to divide people and then they have their own agenda or whatever. But I'll, I'll, I'll say if uh, you stick to your store and you know what you want uh, in agriculture without putting a politic ear forward, then you will get ahead with agriculture and, and learning from, from, from it. Een van die stichters van Harry Gwala Agri, Robert Stapleton Smith, sê om armoede te verlig en vir voedselsekerheid te zorgen, zal gevestigde boeren hul opkomende collega's moet bijstaan. So the idea basically came from, you know, we can't sit and grow our businesses and be commercial farmers and live cheek by jaw with people who are not even able to feed themselves and, uh, and farm themselves. The idea was to try and make a difference to to local communities um, from a farming sense, in the sense that uh, we could supply them with knowledge and information to be able to grow food for themselves and commercially, hopefully. So it was, a, it was really a, a endeavor to uplift the lives and aspirations of people, a lot of people living in our Harigwala district. Stapleton Smith, se bierman, Ducky Ngobo, het sy stuk grond jare gelede gekoop. Maar sy nie suksesvol kom boer as dit nie vir Stapleton Smith se hulp was nie. We angst is, of wat die angst is, die koning, die aboos, die gene, at die hei en sy gantje, gantje. A vege nog vege en slaan by berg, maar kon nie twee eeng klaga. A vege lang my na, a berg. Ngobang, so abaningi, ba kaluk bo na manje, goed die hei plaze la. Babetting Harry Gwala Agri biedt ook opleiding aan gemeenschappen om al eie groente en vruchten te kweek.